to bring in a custom avatar into Atelier, File, Import, and then select a format that the mesh has been exported to from Blender, 3D Studio Max, etc. So in this case, we'll just use FBX. So File, Import, FBX. That will open up a browser, browse to the location of your FBX file. So click on that, select, open. Depending on the format, this will then present a filter or a dialog box. So for FBX, we just want to make sure that this is opening a file, not just add, because we want to create an avatar from this and that we are loading our objects as an avatar. So load as avatar, optionally, inherit arrange info, inherit measure lines. So this will be from marvelous designer files. So those are optional. Everything else can be left as is because it will use the imported data that's included or embedded with the incoming file, in this case, our FBX. So scale, that's OK. Access conversion, that's OK. Translation, that's OK. So just click OK. And this will bring in our mesh. Now, if it brings in the mesh and it's color tinted like this, it's found the materials, but not the texture information. So to correct that, what we can do is click on the avatar instance to highlight the properties for the avatar overall. And then in the property editor, we want to scroll down to our material information section. And first we want to set color to white. If we leave this as is, this color will blend or mix with the images that we import. So click on the color selection box, set that to white, and then OK. So now that we've got that, we can select individual mesh sections and load in the corresponding image by clicking on the plus button and the texture. So click on that. It'll open up a file browser so we can select our image, select, open. That loads in the image and it will associate it with any other corresponding materials that are using that image. So all we need to do is repeat that for every other mesh element. So select the mesh, click on the plus sign again, head, open, plus, hair, open, eyes, plus, open, eyebrows, eyelashes. Once we've done that, we have our completed avatar. So what we can do from here, once we've got all of this set up, make sure the instance is highlighted in the current panel. Then we can click on the save button in the properties editor. And this will allow us to save this as an avatar, an SAVT file, save, that can be brought in at any point as an avatar for clothing creation. So that's importing a custom avatar into Atelier.